Yes. An emerging asshole. There's a team that's becoming assholes in the NFL. And that team is the Detroit Lions. They have absolutely no right to be this disrespectful in the NFL at all. Because why? Why? They just put up almost 50 points on the Tennessee Titans. They just beat the Titans. But a couple weeks ago, we seen them put up 50 points on the Cowboys, which is acceptable because, you know, nobody really likes the Cowboys anyway. Everybody's like, whatever, it's the Cowboys. Slap 100 points on them. I don't even care. Put as many points as you want to on the Cowboys because nobody likes them anyways. Everybody likes to see Cowboys fans lose. So it was all fun and games when they did that to the Cowboys. But then they go over here back home in Detroit and they play against the Tennessee Titans that ain't did nothing to nobody who ain't even a competitor in the NFL. And they give them all that work by putting up almost a 50 ball on them. Are you serious? Like, we, we know y'all are good, okay? Lions, we know y'all good. We know y'all put belt to ass every Sunday. We know what y'all can put up 50 points in a heartbeat on any team in the NFL. We get that, okay? But the fact is, y'all about to start becoming assholes because you're about to be on everybody's shit list. And I say that because putting up 50 points is just mad disrespectful. And then not only are you putting up 50 points, but, hell, you got linemen lining up at receiver. You got linemen running routes. You got running backs throwing touchdown passes. Like, this is so disrespectful to the rest of the league, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm all for, you know, having a good time. But 52 to 14 against the Tennessee Titans. Really? The Titans. The Titans ain't talk no trash. The Titans ain't trying to beef with nobody. The Titans just trying to survive. They barely been winning games. They ain't. Been, I don't even know the Titans' record. That's how irrelevant they are this season so far. The, the main thing the Titans has been in the news for is trading Hopkins and trading all of their players to other teams. This is a 1-5 team that you beat, and you made the 1-6. Not saying you should have showed them any mercy or anything, but damn, a 50-piece, that's what's crazy. And I think the part that's even crazier about all of this is the fact that Jared Goff didn't even do much in this game. <laughs> the quarterback, Jared Goff, didn't do much. He only threw 50, he completed 12 passes, threw 15 passes total. And yet the Lions still put up 50 points. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. And I, I say they're, they're about to become the assholes, bro, because y'all beating everybody. We know the Lions are the most dominant team. I, I think that goes without saying. It shows every Sunday we watch the Lions. It's obvious that the Lions are the most dominant team in the NFL, but they even still have some weaknesses, which we'll touch on in just a sec. But, I mean, this team isn't even at full strength and they're putting up 50 points on the offensive side. They were missing J-Mo. <laughs> like, they, imagine if they would have still had him trying to throw him the ball. Like, that would have been crazy. They're hitting on all cylinders, and the craziest part with the Lions is Yes, they're hitting on all cylinders, but they can get even better. <laughs> it's wild. J-Mo comes back. That adds another layer to the offense. The offense right now, they're leading the NFL in points per game. They're first in points per game. And then even if you look at the defense, oh, man, it can get nasty if this team was fully healthy. They're missing plenty of guys, but yet they're doing perfectly just fine. You got two safeties on the same team who are top five in interceptions. You have Joseph and Brian Branch, who are top five in interceptions on the same team. That doesn't, if that doesn't say dominant, I don't know what does. And the crazy part with the Lions, it, they're not at full strength on the defensive side. Aiden Hutchinson, we know he's missing. You got Davenport down, Kaminsky, Derek Barnes is still down. And you just lost Malcolm Rodriguez, another linebacker. So everybody on the front of that defense is missing. You're missing the key guys to help the Lions defense. So it's just wild that they're beating teams like this and, and having so much control of the game. And they're not even at full strength. Now, obviously, we know that's where the weakness does come in because the defensive front with the linebackers and the defensive linemen, they're not healthy. So that's really the weakest point with the Detroit Lions. But ultimately, that means nothing if teams cannot outscore them. There's not many teams in the NFL that can hang with the Lions scoring-wise on offense. Maybe only one or two teams, and those teams are on the other side of the conference, so you really have nothing to worry about. Anybody in the NFC who's scoring like the Lions right now? Hell no, it's not happening. But that true weakness with the Lions, the only weakness I've identified within their team 
is really the defensive front and the linebackers. That's it. That's it. Other than that, the issue is not even going to become evident until teams start keeping up with them with scoring. If teams can't score with them, then it doesn't matter how many stops the defense is getting. As long as they're good enough, then that's all that matters. But, man, this is crazy, man. Lions about to become assholes in this league. It's, it's ridiculous to, to see them dominate in this fashion week after week after week, man. Like I said, Cowboys was cool. It was all fun and games. It's like, hey, hang up 50 on the Cowboys. Ha, 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 ha. Like, it was cool, but damn, bro, you start doing it. <laughs> you, you're doing it every week. People about to start disliking you how they do the Chiefs. They're they not going to like watching you go against teams and watching the games and watching you play against everybody else because they like, this team is just too damn good. You know that's how it goes. They love you when, you know, you're bad and you become good. But once you start getting too good, then they like, ah, I don't know, man. We don't like him no more. That's what's, that's what's going on with the Detroit Lions. Slowly, it's slowly, slowly happening, but I guarantee it. Let the Lions win a Super Bowl. Let the Lions go back to the Super Bowl or, or, or continue to be a force in the playoffs. I guarantee it's happening. Teams are going to start putting a, an X on, that, on that, that game right there or circling the game to really put the emphasis on it. Like, we got to beat the Lions. They about to become teams' rivals outside of the division if they continue to beat teams like this. So, uh, I'm just saying, man, looking ahead, they got the Packers next week, and that's going to be a tough game. I, I mean, hopefully Jordan Love is at full strength. Hopefully Jordan Love is playing. That would be dope for, for the game's sake. Um, maybe we see an offense that can hang with the Lions and the Packers if Jordan Love is healthy, but I still don't think that's going to be the case because – Although the Lions defense have a lot of pieces that's missing on the defensive front, they still are getting it done, man. This defense is still top five. They're still controlling the, 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 the line of scrimmage on the defensive side, even though they got plenty of injuries. So Packers is next. Then you got the, the Texans, which is kind of in a similar predicament with the defense is struggling, but the offense is, is solid. But that's going, that's going to be the only two tough matchups within the next few weeks. And you, you had the Jaguars and I think Cardinals or something like that. But you, you'll see the Bills later on, which is, you know, in 49ers. But the schedule, they'll, they'll be okay. But I'm just saying, bro, Lions, they becoming the biggest assholes in the league. This is, this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. We ain't seen teams slap 50 back-to-back -back or, or every, yeah, back-to-back -back weeks. Was it back-to-back? No, they had, they had the, the in-between. Okay. Yeah, but, but still, we, we ain't seen teams slap up 50, 50 points this easy in a long time. That's that's just crazy, man. It's a little absurd. But look, we got a side note here. So don't go anywhere. Look, we're going to take a quick break and then jump into the side note. And you got to hear this because some of these teams is chalked. And there was a team I thought was about to be, like, chalked. We was about to write them off for the season. But they kind of opened my eyes. <laughs> they kind of opened my eyes. So, hey, look, we'll be right back in just a sec. It's, half, it's not halftime yet, but we got the side note coming up. 